Hey guys, my name is Ishita and I teach step-by-step -step tutorials for your convenience. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified for every upload. So today I'm going to make this beautiful jiggly wiggly jellyfish that looks pretty easy but trust me it's not very easy. There are a lot of steps involved. So let's go ahead and quickly check out how to make this beautiful fish today. So the first thing I have used is a 180 GSM watercolor paper. With that, my favorite color palette, and I'll be using a Princeton long round brush. With that, two mop brushes in the size zero and four, and I will need a pencil and an eraser to sketch our domes for the jellyfish. So let's quickly sketch it out. So let's start painting. I'm applying some clean water and with that I'll be applying the first color which is cerulean blue and with that I'll also be applying rose madder to create beautiful shading. So guys this is completely wet on wet and now I am applying purple color. So as this area is still wet I'm using the back of my Princeton brush to make these marks. And as the area is still wet, I'll be applying midnight blue color on the edges of the jellyfish. So guys, our first jellyfish is now done. Let's quickly repeat the process. So fill it in with some clear water, your favorite colors, and we will be good to proceed. So our second jellyfish is now done. So let's go back to the first one. I'm applying some clear water and some purple color to show the insides of the jellyfish. And as we are done with this step, I am taking my big round mop brush and with clean water, I'm applying it at the bottom to make those tentacles. So the very first color I'm taking is cobalt blue. So guys, as this is completely wet on wet, it's going to dry up very pale. So we will also be applying few more layers. But before that, let's do the first layer, which is wet on wet. So this is purple color. And at the very bottom, I'm just applying some water so that I can dilute the bottom part of these tentacles. So this is the third layer or the third one, which is a rose madder color. So I gave this some shape and now let this dry. Let's repeat the same process for the second one. So I applied clean water and let's quickly start making the tentacles. So here both my jellyfishes are done. Now I'm applying a thin layer of clear water onto the very first one because we will start to make the tentacles which needs to be done on a wet surface. You can see how easily we can do that. And let's repeat the same process for the second jellyfish.
guys you have to do the step very gently you don't want to scrape off the first layer of your colors so with very light hand apply that water wash and immediately very quickly we'll do the tentacles so now my painting is dry and you can see the first layer has become so pale so let's quickly apply some more layers so i've mixed in some cobalt blue and i'm squiggling some blue color to give it some definition to the tentacles so at this point guys you will see that both of the edges on the right and the left we will have some harsh line so i wanted this to be dissolved with water so i picked up some clean water onto my brush and i'm just dissolving the harsh edges and again trying to define this so i think after drying this i will also be applying the third layer onto this let's see so this is our second layer and on the sides i'm applying some midnight blue color to give it some shade and we will repeat this process for all of the tentacles so our blue is done let's move on to the purple one Here I'm using some cerulean blue to make some defined tentacles on the top and I'm repeating the same process so wet on dry I'm applying the blue, the cerulean blue, the purple and the rose madder color to define these tentacles. And here to complete the painting I have picked up some midnight blue color and I'm applying it on the sides so that it gives a very nice shadowing effect of the starting point of these tentacles and with water I'm just dissolving it with the rest of the tentacles and same for the second one So here I'm pretty pleased with the tentacles but I feel the top part is a little light so let's darken it by applying some clear water and just darkening the colors with the same set of cerulean blue and rose madder with some cobalt blue. And at the end some midnight blue color. All right, so this part is completely done. Now let's quickly go ahead and do the background. So here I am wetting the outsides of this painting and I've applied a light pink color and some 
splashes of cobalt blue. I wanted these splashes to completely melt into the water and this is how it looks after it's dry. So guys, I'm pretty happy with this painting. It took me about 20 to 23 minutes to complete this painting. Give yourself some time and it might take more than one attempt to achieve this because I took about three attempts. I was not getting it right. So do try and let me know what works for you. So I hope you enjoyed today's step-by-step -step tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, share it with your friends and hit that like button. And please connect with me at Easy Paintings by Ishita on Instagram for my daily painting routine. So thank you very much. Y'all have a lovely day. See you soon guys. Bye-bye.